In this video I'm going to show you one of the cool new features in the EOS 3 Plus. It's called borders or multiple borders. So I'm going to start out just by creating some simple text and I'm going to type border ah, borders. Now this is a connecting script, brush script, everybody recognizes it, but you can do it in just about anything. So we're just going to go ahead and stitch it for right now. Nice boring old border. So once I select it, I can go to automatic borders. And I'm going to put, um, for right now, let's just put one border around it and say it's a running stitch, but I'm going to say it's a satin line and I want it to be uh, three and a half millimeters away from the outside. Now this is different than a outline. It's not going to outline every letter. You'll see what I'm talking about. Click OK. You see we have a nice border. Now this could be used just as is, or you could convert it to an applique, or you could do just about anything with it. Change the color. In this example, I'm going to do multiple borders. So we're going to do something a little crazy here. So I'm going to select it again, and then I'm going to go to automatic borders. And I'm going to set three borders. Now I want the first one to be at 20. The second one I'm going to put to 50. And then the next one I'm going to go to 80. And I'm going to make this one a satin line. And we're going to leave those two at running stitches for now. And let's make them all different colors again. Okay, and now, now I have a little more distance in between my borders. So there's my satin, and that's my run, and that's my other run. So the reason I did that this way and added that distance is I want to make this border, I'm going to use a motif. So I'm going to go to the embroidery settings, and I'm going to come down to the motif, and then select that, and then build the stitches. Lastly, I will come again and maybe I'll convert this last one here, this outside one, to a satin line. So you can see you can do, uh, do some really interesting things with this border. So now we're going to do it but with a monogram. So we're going to do a uh, monogram you all know, uh, circle monogram script. And uh, we'll just do ABA. And we're going to maybe make this about two inches tall. Bring it down and then stitch it, select it. And we're going to automatic borders. And we're going to put two around it. And we're going to make this last one a satin line. And we're going to get some distance away from it a little bit. So we're going to say like 40 and 80. See, and now if we want, we can make this one something interesting. Like, once again, a uh, motif. Let's do something crazy with this uh, two color. See how it looks. You can always change it. Oh, that's kind of nice. And as you can see, with the automatic borders function, you could achieve some very unique looks and things that you were not able to do in the past.